Well, boys and girls, we're back again. I'm standing next to something that you're familiar with. This is the, uh, what's left of the uh, Model Y. And what I'm going to be doing today is letting you know that we asked you for your opinions, and we believe that majority should rule. And so consequently, everybody seemed to be interested in the Cybertruck and the Cybertruck's competitors. So uh, I've got a little surprise for you, I guess. Um, here we have the uh, Chevy, and then over here we've got the Ford, and right next to it we've got the, uh, the Ram. And these are the three, if we wanted to use the term competitors for at least pickup trucks, these would be the guys that we'd be looking at. So we're going to be discussing things in a little more detail than, um, than just a, an overview or a reading of the of the specs, we're going to be going into a little bit of detail, but we are not tearing these things down to nothing. These are rented vehicles, and that rented vehicle option for us is fine, because at, uh, at one time or another, we've basically taken these cars to pieces for other customers, and those customers um, are pretty satisfied with the results that they've got. Um, the, uh, the, the products have been on the market now for a fair amount of time, and we're going to be uh, looking at what did they do, how did they do it, why did they do it that way. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the attributes here. So roughly uh, there's about uh, 2 million of these trucks uh, sold in 2019. Um, in Michigan, uh, truck brand loyalty is unbelievable. So it's going to be tough for Tesla to make a substantial dent in the market. Um, and they're going to need to pay close attention to what these competitors do. But before we get into the weeds, it's important to note that the truck market's on a completely different playing field than the rest of the automotive industry. The options that are available for SUVs and sedans are virtually endless. And uh, the new options, they flood their market every year. But these three trucks continue to be the top uh, option for truck buyers year in, year out. Now, other people have tried to get into this market. The Asians have tried very hard. And... Um, and they haven't done so well. So uh, when they compete against these guys, you're competing against the big boys. Um, I don't want to be brash, but this market is nowhere close. It's easy to outselling the poorly integrated Chevy Bolt. And for the amount of money that's going to be invested in these truck programs every year is absolutely staggering. If Tesla plans to succeed in grabbing some of this market share, they better do their homework. Another thing we need to keep in mind is that all these trucks have heavy duty versions, three quarter tons, which have higher horsepower and torque ratings. So the electric motor to the half ton truck isn't quite fair. But at the end of the day, these trucks compete head to head by giving the customers, in this case, the truck drivers, exactly what they're looking to find. So stick with us. Um, our, first, uh, our first real program will be soon, uh, but uh, there is another thing that's going to be popping up on Friday. We did a uh, question and answer period for the uh, patrons, and uh, they got a chance to see it first. Now we're going to show it to the rest of the world. It's quite long, about an hour and a half, so I'm not sure whether we're going to break it up or whether we're going to just put it out there for when you have a lot of time on your hands. The other thing is um, we are looking, uh, looking for uh, selling some of these reports. So if you happen to be an OEM or a Tier 1, we'd appreciate it if you would email sales at leandesign.com so that you can um, let us know what you're interested in. We have lots of different reports, uh, not, just on the, uh, not just on the Model Y, but the 3 and the Bolt and uh, the BMW and on and on. So give us a call. And uh, as you can see, I've still got a mask on, and that's because we are trying to conform to uh, the governor's uh, wishes. Uh, she's opened up for manufacturing, and we're manufacturing engineers, so we, we can come back to work. And uh, so you'll still see me in a mask. And besides that, many of you have noticed that uh, I look better in a mask than I, than I do without a mask. So uh, thank you for that comment. Anyway, tip those cashiers. Stay tuned. We hope to keep you interested and excited and uh, all the way up until maybe we can get our hands on a Cybertruck. Thank you all. Have a great day.